In this video, I will overview my abdominal fat progression visually and by DEXA scanner between 2013 and 2016. So it all started with a two month experiment between October and December 2013 when I used a ketogenic diet to lose some stubborn abdominal fat. I'll link to, that, to the post for that experiment in the description. Now to increase the accuracy of my approach, I used a DEXA scanner. I wanted to measure the progression of my body composition, but I kind of got hooked by it, which is why I kept doing DEXA scans every few months ever since. Earlier this year, I decided to make some sense out of the piles of papers from the DEXA scans in my drawer. The plot you see on the screen is a trunk fat mass progression. Trunk fat or the fat in your midsection is one of the outputs of your typical DEXA scan. The initial fat loss, the one during the experiment, so between October and December 2013, was the most significant as you can see. During that time, I lost the bulk of fat that was on my abdomen. I lost almost 5 pounds of fat from the trunk area alone and a total of approximately 10 pounds of fat from the entire body in basically 2 months. To note is that I was fairly lean at the beginning of the experiment. So it wasn't like I was 30 pounds overweight or I don't know. I, I was fairly lean but I had some stubborn fat that I wanted to lose. So thereafter from late 2013 after reaching my goal to mid 2015 I was maintaining as you can see in the image and then since July 2015 I lost additional fat from the abdominal area alone. Here is a physique depiction of my progression. I took these photos around the time of each DEXA scan. I could attribute the uh, subsequent fat loss that between July 2015, July 2015 and April 2016 to, to many factors, some of which could be a refinement of my intermittent fasting approach, the use of ketosis, caloric restriction, significant increase in my consumption of plant foods and several other variables including better sleep however it wouldn't be appropriate to a certain one or more of these factors uh, as being more contributory than others because i cannot know for sure so they aren't very objective measures because i didn't accurately test or um, control for each of them and I'd rather not speculate. I'll end this video with a photo that I took earlier today that is December 18th 2016. If you enjoyed the video please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.